Well, uh, let's uh, say hello to my uh, friendly chap here, uh, Stu. Hello, Stu. Hi, Glenn. How are you? Oh, my gosh. I'm great. Are you? Oh. Things are looking up. Wow. So great. Great. That's great to hear. Yeah. I was yeah. I was worried maybe some of the things going on in the world were, were a bit of a downer. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. Not mm. at all. I've got something really, really good. You're going to love this. This is from Politico. Headline. Pro-Palestinian protesters are backed by a surprising source. <laughs> You're going to be so surprised. Uh, who, uh, I wait. Chuck E. Cheese. I would be surprised no, if Chuck no, E. Cheese no, was behind Chuck them. E. Okay. No, not Chuck not, E. Cheese. Not Chuck no, E. Cheese. No, no. Uh-uh. Huh. George Soros. Wait. And the Tides Foundation. No. Yes. Yes. I am surprised by yes. that. Not quite as surprised yeah. as Chuck E. Cheese. You know, every, mo- <laughs> every morning I get up because I can't take NPR and I can't take the New York Times uh, oh, Daily anymore. Uh, so I, I listen to uh, Daily Wire and the okay. update yeah. for Daily Wire. And uh, one of their you know reporters said, uh, and people who give to uh, like the Tides Foundation should make sure to tell them that they don't want their money going... <laughs> That's the whole point of the Tides Foundation. <laughs> so launder you're not, money. You're not giving money. To, I hope it goes to Mother Teresa. It's not going there. It's, it's like, like a, I mean, you can give money to whoever you want. So, like, there, there's no real reason to have to wish and hope and pray it goes yeah. to a specific place. You right. can just give the money to that place. <laughs> yeah. If you want to hide where you're giving uh-huh, the money uh-huh. to. Well, what do you mean by that, you go. Well, that's the setup of uh, the Ties Foundation. And they're not alone, of course. There are other um, uh, organizations that do similar type like things. Like Act Blue? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where you give to, to this general organization. You mean like Act, Act Red? Oh no! Wait, that one doesn't exist. Is there what is there? Is there a win red? There's something. There's some other equiv- uh, roughly equivalent organization. Well, good with a color. Quite honestly, um, good. But I don't, they don't do the same stuff, of course. But yeah, uh, they're not. They're not fomenting revolution in the streets. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't think uh, so. Not here, <laughs> at least. <laughs> Uh, 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 but it is, uh, it, it's one of those things where you can give mm-hmm. to a centralized place, maybe mm-hmm. not have your name on a Attached donation to, list. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Uh, it's a very convenient thing if you are supporting things that maybe you don't publicly want to acknowledge you're supporting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, some of the people, um, Susan and Nick Pritzer, you know who the, you know who Nick is, right? I mean, Nick, hey, Nick, Nick, hey. No, he's mm-hmm. the heir to the Hyatt Hotel empire. So, Makes me want to go stay at a Hyatt right away. Um, let's see. Also, a George Soros. I like this one. The Jewish Voice for Peace, which is, uh, they describe themselves as anti-Zionist. I'm trying to figure this out now. I mean, just somebody help me. Do, just do the math. Just do the math. You're a Jew. And the history of the Jews it is to be chased out of wherever it is you live. And you can never really defend yourself because you don't have a country. Okay. There's no place to go. And every place that turns on you takes away your guns and puts you in a camp and tries to kill you. Okay. Now for the first time since, oh, I don't know, 2000 years, you get a country and the world gives that country to you because it's main its main objective is you are free to defend yourself and nobody's telling you, you know, go back to where you came from, okay? Now, you're a Jew and you're against that. Help me out on the math because I can't seem to complete the numbers. It's a difficult one. I mean, you <laughs> could be critical of, mm-hmm. of, of an Israeli leadership, right? Right. And still uh, want the Jews to be alive. Right. Right. <laughs> right? It, right. So you could be that, but being anti Zionist, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. hard to know exactly how that works out yeah, for so, the Jews. Not, not well in the past. Mm-hmm. We, we know that. Mm-hmm. So Rockefeller is uh, giving significant grants to Jewish Voice for Peace, uh, which blamed the uh, October 7th attacks on Israel and the United States. So I don't know if you know that. We're so bad. We're so bad. We're so bad. We're even stealing the bad things that other people do and claiming that they're ours. That's how bad we are. All right. So we have that. Now, the students 
uh, at NYU. Let me see if we have this particular cut. I do believe we do. Um, yes, cut 45, please. Students at NYU. Here's what they're chanting. I can't wait for a new chant. I hope it's something new. I hope it's something that we have. Like, a, I don't is think there a, I've heard this one. Oh, really? I don't think I've That's heard this one. That's always exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So which side do you all think North Korea supports, Palestine or Israel? Just guess. Palestine. It is Palestine. Um, the DPRK has actually never recognized the state of Israel. Well, They have always upheld the right of Palestinian people to self-determination and resistance. Yeah. And this is beyond moral and rhetorical support. The DPRK has actively armed and trained Palestinian resistance oh for decades. Yeah. The PLO, North the Korea. PFLP, and North the DFLP Korea. have trained troops by the DPRK. Wow. This is the second one of these I've seen. I mean, this is craziness. People just sitting there, and she's reading this off a notepad, oh, yeah, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not, not as much a chant, unfortunately. But, yeah, uh, but I she, know. You know, you got to come up with something a little more catchy than that. But she is, I mean, that has to be a North Korean operative. <laughs> right? or, like, or a Columbia University student, that otherwise known as a complete and total dolt. Yes, I would agree with that. That's though the second one I've seen in one of these yep. protests. Not talking about the Palestinians, specifically praising North, North Korea, Korea for their efforts. I don't... One kids, of the most re, one of just, the <laughs> repressive regimes in the world. It's time for, it's time for non-drag queen story hour, Okay. <laughs> Where the non-drag queen comes out and says, listen, kids, North Korea, they starve their own people. Really bad. Concentration camps. You know, that kind of thing. Throwing babies up in the air, seeing who can catch it with a sword. North Korea. Well, I learned a lot from that non-drag queen story hour. How about you, Stu? Mm. Sounds like North Korea, bad place. How, how, how is this person with a straight face really saying North Korea? And you know whose side they're on? Yeah, yeah, our side. North Korea is on our side. They're even training people. I mean, they're with us. Who could stand against us? Oh, I don't know. All the forces of good. <laughs> Amazing. Imagine advocating for. I mean, that person's not even advocating for the Palestinian cause. It's more of trying to win people who already support the Palestinian cause yeah. over to the North Korean cause, which yeah. is fascinating. But imagine wanting to be on that side of any debate. The North Korea, like this no. isn't even like the the high minded like olden days of Cuba or something, right? Like, no, this, uh, is, this the, is North freaking Korea. We know what they do. Yeah, <laughs> this is one of the most repressive regimes on probably the most repressive regime on earth. Uh, I mean, you could come up with a couple China. of competitors, right? Maybe I, but China. I think China's a freer. China is well, at China, least well, has people in their yes. country who are not starving, not starving, or who are wealthy. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. they do international business. They, right. North Korea does none of this. No. They have it's all, no. everything in their country is controlled by this one family, mm -hmm. and you know this is the place that won't even give like basic surgeries out to their people. That doctors have to come across the borders to give them basic things like cataract surgeries. So they they all think that they're blind for life when these basic surgeries would cure them. Uh, you know this is North Korea is the worst of the worst, yeah. right? Oh I, yeah. And oh, now so that's so. the argument they're making. Yeah, I, you know what? I I like being on the opposite side yeah. of that. I, you know, I, I, it's a kind of, a, you know, oh, people who say you're on the wrong side of history, what do they know? Well, in this case, I think we I think we could say pretty certain North Korea is never going to be looked at as like, you know, those guys were great. Yeah. Back I don't think in that, the day, those be surprising. guys were really great. That would be surprising if yeah. that's how this turned out. Yeah, yeah. Um, here's another one. Here's another one I think you'll really enjoy. Uh, why are you out protesting today? We're asking people why they are protesting here today. Because I want to see empire fall. What empire? From the U.S. to Israel. The empire that's propped up by capitalism. Oh, shocking. And free Palestine, free Congo, free Sudan, free Haiti, free Hawaii, free Puerto Rico, liberation for all. Wait, wait, free Hawaii, yeah, we free Puerto that. Rico? I'm worried about the, the freedom of Hawaii right now. It's a huge issue. I know, mm -hmm. I know. And, and Puerto Rico. You know, quite honestly, if Hawaiians want Hawaii back, I'm cool with that. That's pretty awesome, though. I kind of like I kind of like it rounding. It rounds out our country a little bit. You know, like you ever get like you, it's like when you have a, a, a you know a delicious meal and there's just a little bit of garnish on top, kind of rounds right. it out. I feel like that's Hawaii for us. 
Are you big... saying that this is kind of like a DEI thing? We got to keep it in to, no, to I keep just think our it's a, diversity? I think it improves the recipe a little bit of <laughs> right. the country. Like, it's yeah. like, you know, you get this great no, island. You get to go right. on vacations there. Right. I mean, that's... Uh, I'm, right. I but mean, we did kind of just kind of like, hey, nice island you got here. It's ours. And I have no problem giving it back. I really don't. You just like... A, no, I have no we problem. Do, what about the military bases and stuff we have there? Maybe oh, keep, I'm sure they'll do it. They'll rent them us. to us. Yeah, they'll okay. rent them right. to us. Well, that's a be... new proposal. Yeah, so you want to go? Be... You want to go to the 49 states? What about Alaska? You in on that? No, no Alaska that's cold. stays. Alaska Why? stays. Why? You want Alaska over Hawaii? Why? Absolutely, because someday we can drill for all that oil and the rare earth minerals. So you're saying Hawaii just gives us tourism, not enough to yeah. to yeah to, to and, fight you know, for it? I mean. Mm. Mm-hmm. Colonialism, not willing to fight for it. You know, Hawaii, not willing to fight for it. I'm really not. Hmm. I'm really not. But you want Alaska? Oh yeah, yeah. Willing it's to fight for land. Alaska. Yeah, it's a lot, it's a of, lot land. of land. It's a, a lot, lot of, land. of land. We're not gonna not gonna give that one up. That's kind of like Texas to me. Texas, really? Alaska. Nope. We need to get another state. That we need to turn something else into a state. You can't go with 49. You got to get to a round number. Uh. I mean, you could How about we go 48? How about we get rid of California? Why are you going up? Let's go down. Well, I want a round number. I got to knock out four or five, at least four to get me to 45 or 40. I mean, we could do that. We could just knock out like. What about, what? why not 48? Because it's not a round number. Am I not saying these words out loud? I keep hearing them in my head. Am I saying round number out loud? I want a round number of states. Okay? That's what I want. That's a stupid rule. <laughs> That's a stupid, It may stupid be a rule. stupid rule, but I'm telling you that's what I, I want. I can cut 10. I can cut 10. You can 10. cut 10 easy. I can cut 10 easy. Okay. Well, it might be a, a weird York, looking map. New York. Okay. This Massachusetts. Is help us. I, every time we list states that yeah. we don't want in the union, this always works out well. Yeah. New York, mm-hmm. Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. Uh, You're going to go the whole Oregon, northeast probably. Oregon, Washington, mm-hmm. California. Mm-hmm. New Mexico really doesn't do anything for us. Really? really? It's just kind of there, you know? Really? I mean, Breaking Bad, really, that was a great series. Yeah, but it wasn't really filmed there. I thought it was. Was it? I think it was. In well, okay, yeah. then I put that, but then I but balance it out with there it's... radiation, mm. you know, okay. oh, the whole dump, you know, mm-hmm. which we <laughs> every place, every community needs a dump. And so mm-hmm. maybe we keep North, uh, uh, New Mexico wow. just based on we need a dump. That That's... Uh, okay. Quite an analysis of the beautiful yeah. terrain. Yeah, it, of New well, Mexico. it is beautiful. It is the nicest looking dump I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, all right. You know? uh-huh. I'm not saying that we dump our garbage there. I'm saying we dump our nuclear, nuclear waste, waste there. there. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's not the same as garbage. That's expensive waste. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, that's like the that's like waste from rich people. So you can get me to forty. You're no, you don't want to go to fifty. No interest in going to fit. What if we just split, like, wasn't there a split between, like, Idaho, part of Idaho wanting to pull out, or Oregon wanting to pull out? And Yeah, Oregon. Some or of these, Oregon there's a bunch that, of these secession movements. Become, no, that was just going to become part of Idaho. Oregon, half of Oregon was like, oh, you people are crazy. And they were like, I'd rather, well, I'd rather go be with like, the potato people. What if we just go, like, East Oregon and get a new state? Get no. you to 50? No. All right, we get two more senators from a conservative state there doing it that way. No, because then they'll they'll demand Puerto Rico. No, we freed Puerto Rico. That's we, right. Okay, we freed Puerto Rico. We freed Puerto. Of course, we have. And I didn't know that. Yeah, and I think we've also evacuated the dump called Washington D.C. That's where we keep our dump. This is that's where we like. Hey, all our garbage goes to the District of Columbia. That would be an interesting and proposal. our prisoners, especially because they're always complaining. And the prisoners? And the prisoners. This is a good idea. Yeah. Because two big, first of all, Washington, D.C., very liberal. Two proposals they're very interested in. Number one is uh, freeing prisoners, uh-huh. right? They always uh-huh. want prisoners freed. They, yeah. they always say that the, uh, the, you know, the prison industrial complex right. or whatever. Yeah. So just free them all, but they all go to D.C. Right. They all go to D.C. You're allowed to walk around in D.C. And conveniently. Except for the hardened criminals. We just leave them where they are. We just lock the front doors and the back doors and the side doors of the Capitol. Right. The so they stay, criminals they, they stay have inside to stay Congress. there. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But everybody else can walk around. I like that. And okay. then the trash, you know, they're always worried about the environment. Well, I mean, what better, what better motivator to, to help clean up the trash problem than all the trash goes directly to Washington, D.C.? Amen. Amen, brother. Mm-hmm. 